In general principle, a government's budget is really no different than your household budget. It is an estimate of future expenditures and financial income or revenue. Whereas most individuals and families tend to budget on a monthly basis, governments tend to budget for a longer period of time, generally at least one year. For example, the federal government's fiscal year, the term used to denote the budget period, runs from October 1st to September 30th. In Texas, the state government's budget is a projection of revenues and expenditures over a two-year period. The two-year budgeting cycle in Texas is the consequence of the fact that the state legislature meets in biennial sessions. The state's biennial budget cycle presents some unique challenges since economic conditions and thus revenue forecasting tends to become more challenging the farther out in time projections are made. The state's constitution requires the Comptroller of Public Accounts to certify that budgeted funds are within forecasted revenue estimates for the biennium. If economic shocks occur after the budget is adopted that were not anticipated at the time that the Comptroller forecasted revenues, and actual revenues fall short of forecasts, the state will find itself in a very difficult situation, since the state's constitution does not permit deficit spending. In other words, the Texas Constitution requires a balanced budget, so actual expenditures may not exceed actual revenues. If a revenue shortfall occurs as a result of unanticipated economic conditions, the state will have to cut spending from levels that were budgeted, unless a three-fifths majority in the legislature approves tapping the state's rainy day fund. The possibility of revenue shortfalls generally provides an incentive for the controller to resist making overly optimistic revenue forecasts. On the other hand, unexpected economic growth can lead to actual revenues that exceed the controller's forecasts. In such a circumstance, state agencies and programs will be operated at budgeted levels and surplus revenues will accrue to the state's rainy day fund.